what's up guys in this video i'm going to be taking you on a on a on a on an experience to experience this new samsung galaxy s21 ultra 5g and so this video is going to be cut in two parts the first part is going to be like vlog like and where i'm going to be testing out the cameras and you'll be seeing what the quality looks like during daytime and also a bit of some low light video testing and we're going to give this video a test i'm going to be taking on a video shoot i'm also going to be going to work and just walking testing out the features and in the other part it's going to be like finally summarizing my 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 take of my total experience with the phone i've been using it for close to three weeks and we're going to be seeing what the experience is going to be like and i'm just going to be summarizing everything in the last part of this video if you're ready let's get on with the video what's up guys so in this video we're gonna be testing out we're gonna be doing a vlog style camera video test of the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G and we're going to be testing I'm going to be testing out to see what the quality looks like testing out the, the various cameras that this phone has the main camera the ultra wide the, the two telephoto lenses and we're going to be seeing how it matches daytime and also nighttime if you're ready for the vlogs vlog style Let's get on with the video. Now I'm testing out director's view. So director's view is in 1080p. This is a silver line train to the 
So right here now with uh, George. George got been on three. You know what I'm saying? Three times. Got been on. Got been on. Got been on. You know what I'm saying? Behind the scenes, Perk assessing that division is going down. Y'all stay tuned. Whole lot of mob shit. Whole lot of that. Whole lot of three times. Whole lot of BG. Big George nigga got the hammer like I'm Thor nigga. Huh. So like that. You did what I'm saying? Huh. <laughs> I see, I see, I see. back to this part of the video so and I'm going to be talking about the look and feel of the phone I um, have it in a case a Samsung case but the look and feel the phone feels it's just one inch shorter but it's still a big phone a big thick heavy phone it's not that heavy it's it feels good to hold even with it feels good to hold even with one hand and this year also it's still Gorilla Glass uh, Victis and the look and feel is really good. This is by far the best screen you would ever find in a small device like this called a smartphone. And I don't care what any other person tells you but this is the best screen you'd ever get on a smartphone. Just imagine watching a 4K content on this device and just amazing yourself with the picture quality so when it comes to look and feel right at the moment nothing matches the samsung galaxy s21 ultra let's go into the main aspect of what makes many people buy a smartphone it's the camera and when it comes to the camera the s21 ultra lives up to all the hypes i would say this year compared to compared to the s20 ultra which was like the most overhyped samsung phone that really didn't live up to the expectation apart from having a big size and having a, the, the the 100 um, zoom zoom range labeled at the back the s21 is more like s21 ultra is more like a redemption a refinement of what the S20 should have been. My experience with the camera has been fantastic. And just to recap, it has an ultra, a, a ultra. You have ultra wide here. You have the main, the main lens, also the main camera here. Another thing I also like about the camera is the ability to zoom. And with the addition of a second telephoto lens, you can now zoom ten times and three times without zooming digitally now zooming 10 times and three times feels more natural i could give you an example i i i, I had an experience with a with a camera where i zoomed into a, a church a, a, a sign of the cross at far away at a, a church building and i was able to zoom in and when i shared that picture on instagram and on social media people were like wow smartphone cameras have come a long way and really they have come a long way i i've even had instances where i was at a walmart a local walmart and i was able to zoom into uh like there was a, a something far out in the building at the walmart and i was able to zoom in and i was still able to read the detail of what was there on with my naked eye i couldn't see it 
but when I zoomed in, I could clearly read the labeling in the box, on the box. That S21 Ultra seems to be trying to perfect or redefine what it, it can do. Samsung like took all the criticisms and the comments and everything from previous devices and just said, okay, this time we have to make it feel, look and function better. And one of my most impressive features of the camera is the front facing camera. It's 40 megapixels, but compared to previous Samsung uh, front facing camera where you they over pre beautify and enhance your skin texture and look and make you look like a baby doll this time it's it looks natural like you're taking a selfie and this time you can once for once say hey this camera this front facing camera can match up with what Apple has to offer when it comes to portrait and another thing I like with the Samsung portrait is you can now you can now control how you want the blur to be at the back like you can really say okay hey I don't want anything to be at my back you can control how you want the bokeh as the people call it the bokehlicious how you want the bokeh to look in the background and also coming back also to the back the back cameras I would say when it comes to daylight, it performs very well. When it comes to night, the still the still images are fantastic, but video feels a bit too pixelated and wobble. Like you you could be walking and the light reflections just feels so unnatural. It feels like the camera is struggling to focus when you're filming videos and you're walking but when you come to a place that is really lit and bright the camera performs well at night but when you get to a place where the lights are very spotty and it, and it's kind of very dark the camera starts to struggle i guess it's something they could improve in a software upgrade or maybe in the next device they can refine it better but daytime and nighttime still photography is fantastic on this camera but nighttime video daytime video is really an improvement from previous samsung devices but nighttime video is still a 50 50 hit and miss balance issue now we're going to be talking about the battery life and the battery life has been very has been very good has been an improvement and com compared to the last S20 20, 20 Ultra where Samsung restricted you restricted us from using the full 120 Hertz uh, refresh rate this time you can go up to 120 frames but this time is in an adaptive format where if you're doing less activities on your on your smartphone on your on the device it, it, it you could go from 10 and hit 120 so if you're doing heavy heavy tasks like games and scrolling scrolling or or, or or just playing intensive intensive using intensive apps the, the phone can smartly say okay we're going to refresh what you're doing from 10 to 120 and, and another thing that samsung now finally enabled was you can now do it in full for a full 4k 4k um, resolution so you don't have to be in 1080p to enjoy 120 120 hertz um, refresh uh, rate and that's one thing i like and also the way but the way samsung has been able to smartly minimize the way you use the battery so the battery life is with them now adding the 120 uh, refresh rate for 4k this for 4k 4k display so now the battery is now smart enough to easily put some apps to sleep where if you're not using some certain apps and some apps tends to run in the background the the, the phone smartly pauses those apps 
and you're able to conserve and preserve your battery. I do lots of intensive stuff and at the end of the day, by the time I'm back home from work, I still have about 50, 40, 30 percent batteries, battery life left. So compared to the Note 20 and the S20 Ultra, I would say this year the battery has been refined to be smart enough to adapt to the way you use your phone. That way it doesn't drain out faster and that way you're able to conserve enough battery life to run you to the end of the day. To conclude, will I recommend the Samsung Galaxy S21? Yes, I will. Is it value for your money? That's up to you to decide. But if you're trading in your device and you're going to end up getting the device for $100, that's good value for your money. If you're going to be trading the device to get a $700 trading value and you're going to get the S21 Ultra for $500, then that's good value for your money. This this is the this phone has the best screen you can ever get in a device. This phone has one of the best cameras you can ever get on a device. This phone has some some features that even up to now I have still not figured out where they are because this phone has too many useful features that has been embedded into it. One UI uh, 3.1 3. now I think has has polished and redefined the user interface of Samsung Samsung phones. Now even the fingerprint the fingerprint sensor is so smart and fast that it opens the phone quickly. Like I can give you a test now. Like I can tap the phone now and just put my finger and the phone comes on. So the S21 lineup has been more like a redemption for Samsung in terms of features software camera and how you use the phone in your everyday life yeah i would say i'm if there's two if there are two things i didn't like samsung did with this year's s21 would be removing the sd card and also not including um a charging brick but at the end of the day by the time you you factor in the 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 150 or the hundred dollars or the 150 um, um extra credit that Samsung gives you to buy accessories, it technically covers the cost of for you to get you the, the headphone the headphone of your choice or the, the charging brick of your choice or a case or a screen protector or whatever accessories that you find on the Samsung website. So in a way they're taking some things out but they're giving you a bit more to compensate for those things they're taking out. Would that be a good reason why they should remove those things? I would say no, but at the end of the day, it's up to you to decide if this device is value for your money. But for me personally, I would say it's a good deal. And if you can afford it, go for it. So if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you could give this video a thumbs up, a like, and if you could subscribe and also share to the next video. Thank you. Stay safe and peace.